Greetings, my name is J. Peter Brzezzi, and you're watching a brief demonstration from my SharePoint 2010 administration training course. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so here we are on our Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007, and the domain is the bo90flex.com domain. And here is our fancy Moss 2007 site collection. You can see that the folks at Bo90Flex have not done much with it. They have a couple of graphics, they have some announcements, some calendar items, mostly relating to our merger with them. And so when it comes to a migration or an upgrade, certain elements may not migrate over like we would like them to. For example, the images themselves, if we do a database attach method, the images may not show up immediately. We might have to put them on the new server because these are actually located on the server somewhere. So we would need to make sure that those were moved over and we would have to do some configuration after the installation. And the same is true with an upgrade. When you upgrade, certain things are going to be in different places and so there may be some tweaking afterwards. Every site's going to be a little different, so that's why it's essential to make sure you have that backup and make sure you run through a few tests. Now one of the nice things about working with a virtualized version of server and having SharePoint on a virtualized server is that you can easily just duplicate your efforts with a separate VHD if you're using Hyper-V and you can if you're using VMware or some other solution you can clone the system and you can practice with it without hurting your production server and make sure you're really ready to go when it comes to doing this type of an upgrade. Well we want to run that STS ADM command so for starters it's in a long path here. You could see we have common files, Microsoft shared, web server extensions, 12, and then there's a bin. And it's all the way throughout that whole entire path. Now you'll note it's 12. SharePoint 2010 is 14. So we look at bin, we open it up, and if we scroll down a little bit, there it is, STSADM. What we want to do is we want to go back to bin we want to right click and hold the shift key down because then we can open up a command window here. So we've got the command window right there. Let's type in stsadm. Okay, so stsadm. Hopefully you can see this. And we're going to type dash o pre upgrade check and hit enter. Okay, so here you can see the command line walks us through the different options that were either information only or passed and obviously if there was a problem it would say that something failed along the way but then we get this really neat little web page here that tells us the different sites that we have in play. It's information here only, but if we did have a problem right up here at the top, it would say in red, you're going to have difficulty upgrading this server. If we scroll down, it gives us information about what we're working with, the number of servers, the number of web applications, the number of content databases, and we can keep scrolling down. Some of this information is helpful, some of it is not. So we look through, everything looks like we should be good to go for that in-place upgrade. So what's next? Well before we jump off of this let's just take a look at one thing down here. Notice the information only supported upgrade type section here. The current farm supports the following upgrade types in-place upgrade and content database attach. So at this point we can choose to go either way. Now in our lesson here we're going to do it both ways. So really the next part of the process would be to install the binaries for SharePoint. We have the DVD here, which is really just a mounted ISO file. We need to install the software prerequisites. I'm going to pause the lesson, install the software prerequisites, and then jump back into the lesson at the point where we have the splash screen up. We're going to move forward with install SharePoint server on this system. And you'll see how this installation is just slightly different from the installations that we've done in the past. 
Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.